Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. So if you're new here, my name is Anushka. Today I'm really excited because we're going to be trying out the new Faux Filter Skin Finish Foundation Stick by Huda Beauty. I just got these yesterday and so many of you requested this review. Honestly, I love Huda Beauty products and the Faux Filter Foundation is one of my favourite high-end foundations for sure. But I'm really excited to try this because I do love a good stick foundation because I'm more, I definitely have more like dry skin, especially right now my skin's so tight I need to put like cream and stuff but before we jump into the video I'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one's going to go to axa angel underscore so thank you so much for your really sweet comment I really appreciate it and if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so I also did get the Huda Beauty water jelly hydrating primer now I love the word hydrating in it, you know, I love to hear that. But what I'm gonna do is gonna just put one side of it um, just to see if we can see a bit of a difference throughout the day. It's very lightweight, that um, primer. The primer on the Huda Beauty website is 24 pounds. I don't think it's out in the UK yet. But I honestly don't think that 24 pounds is that bad for a huge bottle of primer. Um, you get 35 mil in here. The foundation sticks already on the Feel Unique website. I'll link everything in the info box, guys. But it comes to 32 pounds for the stick. You get 12.5 grams i've got a little leaflet here which i'll quickly read to you because i know you guys don't like it when i blabber on in my reviews okay i took notes <laughs> okay one thing that catches my eye is that there's 39 shades i mean there are nine new shades and reworked shade families uh, it's a creamy new formula that melts onto the skin build up coverage to blend imperfections or buff and blend it to achieve a sheer illuminating skin tint and perfectly compacted in a portable foundation stick there's a new hyd ultra hydrating primer the new water um jelly hydrating primer is like a tall drink of water for your face creating the perfect base for your foundation giving your skin a beautiful dewy finish so it just says it's a buildable natural coverage with a high filter finish and i would say like there's a good range of shades i would say and even amounts for each skin tone group it says it's 10 hour wear which we will put to the test today pores with visibly reduced waterproof i mean it doesn't say transfer proof but we'll try and put that to the test with the mask as well because i know you guys will be wondering we literally have to wear masks now it's part of the routine it's part of our lifestyle we, we just gotta get used to it so i was sent three shades brown sugar butter pecan and dolce de leche now i do really appreciate the fact that they didn't send me the whole range because unless i'm like an actual makeup artist doing pe makeup on people it just doesn't serve me any purpose even doing like swatches of lighter and darker shades on my skin tone it just makes no sense because the contrast is so high between my skin tone and the lighter shades or the deeper deeper shades that it doesn't really give a true reflection of the actual shade just one quick tip if you're looking for a shade match for yourself online make sure you look at swatches that are on a skin tone that's similar to you because if you're going to look at if you're like my shade and you look at a swatch on a really pale skin tone it looks 10 times darker than it actually is so it really helps to have the swatches on someone that's a similar or maybe a little bit lighter or a little bit darker than you so it, it, i don't know it just really helps me out so yeah like i said love that i only got three shades i'm gonna just grab brown sugar because that's what i use in the faux filter but i'll swatch all three for you bring you a bit closer guys okay, that is brown sugar although it looks darker than i remember dulce de leche which i actually think is the oh my god i think i found a better shade Dulce de Leche is my shade, stop it. That's 350G. Brown sugar is 410G. But I am a bit more pale, I'm not gonna lie. Then we have Butter Pecan, which is on the lighter shade. But yeah, I'm gonna go for Dulce de Leche. Brown sugar looks so dark. I'm just gonna try my actual faux filter foundation quickly. Yeah, that's so weird, basically, my brown sugar is dulce de leche brown sugar in the stick is so much darker which is so weird okay so now we can start applying the foundation oh my god i'm really happy with that match i'm not gonna put too much i'm gonna use the brush that was sent to me it looks so nice and very luxurious guys and um, this is their face build and buff brush and honestly i do really love the quality of Huda beauty brushes they're really really nice i 
should have done this side first. I'm gonna have to use a different brush because I don't wanna like, I don't wanna get the primer on this side. Okay, it's not as dewy as I thought it would be. I mean, there's a little bit of shine, but that could be also due to my face. I love that you get like a little triangular end to it. It's so handy for like up here. I don't really need too much foundation on my forehead, but I'm just gonna blend this out. Okay, like I said, really happy with the shade match. The coverage is light to medium because I can still see like my blemish there, but it's evened out my complexion. Like for every day, I wouldn't be mad at this. Um, I'm just gonna see if I can build a bit more coverage. I mean, that is definitely buildable. Okay, we're now gonna do the other side. It just feels so soft when you're applying, like so creamy. It doesn't feel as dewy and as oily like my Makeup Forever foundation stick, which is actually one of my favorite foundations as well. It's so flawless, but it's definitely more on the dewy, oily side, whilst this is not as much. This is applying so beautifully on my skin right now. Stop it. The brightness down a little bit. You guys can actually see my skin. The match is pretty good. To those of you that say I don't have pigmentation, I do still have a bit there. It's normal with our skin, guys. Just remember that, okay? Now, off my first impression, love it already. Like, it applied so nicely. It looks flawless. It's definitely buildable. I wouldn't say it's full 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 coverage i would say medium to full it's not as um full coverage as the original photo filter liquid foundation but one thing that i have noticed is that there's no there's no scent there's no perfume scent and i really appreciate that because one of the things that i dislike about the foundation the powders and the setting spray which is so good is the scent like the perfume smell is so strong and sickening um now i've gotten used to it and i don't have sensitive skin so it works for me but for anyone who has sensitive skin or is sensitive to like these stronger perfume smells scents smells what the hell um they kind of give a headache like it's just too overwhelming and then i mean throughout the day you get used to it but i just don't see the need of having such a strong scent in like my face products but i really am happy about not having that scent there guys honestly so yeah i'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and i'll be right back all right guys that's my face done and honestly everything applied so beautifully i didn't apply any cream products i just wanted to keep it to like powder bronzer powder blush i mean so far it looks pretty good and i'm really really impressed with it and it's just it feels really comfortable the coverage is definitely buildable you can start off light if you need to and then build to like a medium to full i would say and it doesn't dry my skin out so far i'm not, I'm not seeing any flakiness no smile lines at the moment no ashiness and the shade's really good i'm actually quite shook at the fact that the brown sugar shade was so different but yeah i'm definitely do say the leche in the stick i just want to say it does have more of that natural finish like I did set my face with powder because I might be wearing a mask today, um, but it's not like overly matte or overly dewy or very foundation like, it's very skin like, I would say. Overall, it's made my skin look really nice, very natural and not cakey. It's now 9.06 a.m., so I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day, and we'll check back later on this evening to see how this looks. Just before I go, quick close up. I mean, flawless, right? By the way, this is the Legit Lashes Mascara Bomb. Put a beauty conceal and powder. All right, guys, I just came out from outside. I've been out for like 45 minutes, so I'm gonna take my mask off. 
I haven't been out that long to be honest. What is it? It's now 1.16 p.m. and there's makeup. Although it looks mostly like that's my bronzer rather than the foundation but it's not like transfer proof for sure. Makeup looks okay. I can just only see like a little bit of patchiness here. This bit has been a bit weird to be honest. I don't know, but it looks okay. This is this is there's something going on here. <laughs> Anyways, I'll check back with you guys later on. Alright guys, I'm now back. It is now 5.52 p.m. I've had this for nine hours. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not mad at how everything looks. I've just got a weird patch here. I think I've just like rubbed my face there or something. But this side, like it's just like flawless. The only thing I would say is that there's a bit of shine. I have dry skin. I would say that the side with the primer definitely has more of a sheen compared to this side. I don't know if you can see, like that's like, <clears throat> and this is like, do you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm making sense, but it's definitely more shinier on this side. I don't see any other differences between the primer side and the non-primer side, apart from the fact that it definitely gives you more of a dewy finish. I don't mind this, so I'll continue using it, but I wouldn't recommend it for oilier skin tones um, because it's definitely more of a wet, dewy primer. The foundation has a nice skin finish. Like, I really like it. Um, it doesn't really look like I have like foundation, foundation on. It's not cakey. It's really comfortable, like I don't really notice it throughout the day. It's not transfer proof, unfortunately. And to be honest, most of my foundations transfer on my mask. It's just how it is. Um, there are things that you can help do to help it, but one foundation that I found that really works with um, a mask is the NYX Can't Stop One Step Foundation, which is transfer proof. Like literally minimal transfer. Like at the end of the day, I had a mask on all day. I had like barely any transfer on my mask so that's a really good foundation i would say definitely look out for foundations that claim to be transfer proof this doesn't claim that it is but it says it's waterproof i mean i haven't put that to the test it definitely has long wearing um attributes to it yeah i just really like this do i see myself wearing it yes i do like the fact that it's more on the skin finish rather than like a full beat full coverage foundation it's not anything like that um and it has a bit of dew to it. My nose has like faded away a bit, so we're just about approaching the 10 hour mark. Would I say it could go 12 hours? Probably, but it would fade in some areas. I don't know, like the real question is, do I see myself using this again? Definitely, like going to work and everything, quickly buff it out, very natural. Love that there's 39 shades available. And I'll insert a clip here when I was in the sunlight and it just looks so nice in the sunlight, guys. I kid you not. Um, now this is just a first impression, um, I've worn this only today and put it to the test and so far I'm quite pleased with it. I don't know, I would literally give this a solid 9 out of 10. When I touch this, like there's nothing on my hand, like, but with the Makeup Forever um, stick, sometimes I'm like, ooh, that's quite like, definitely not transfer proof, but here, like, it just feels like skin, you know? Whilst this side with the primer side, there's a bit more stickiness, so I don't know how I feel about the the primer to be honest so yeah nine out of ten it's a good foundation guys i would definitely recommend it you'll definitely see me using this more often i just love how it glides on the skin and blends out really nicely great shades i think the price point is really good for a high-end foundation and yeah let me do a close-up for you i know lights can make everything look better so i tried to put the um the brightness down a bit so you guys can really see Can you see that shine on this side? Like, it's crazy. I do have like a patchy bit here. I don't know how I got that. I think it's this blemish. This blemish is causing me some problems. So yeah, that's it for this review. I really hope you found this helpful. And by the way, I just want to put a disclaimer out there. Before you go out and buy this foundation, don't base your research just on my video alone. Please go look at other people's opinions, see how they got along with the foundation. Do a collective kind of like review watch and then base, then decide if you want to get this foundation or not. For me personally, I really, really love it. I love how it sits on my skin, my really, really dry ass skin, I kid you not. Um, but like I said, if you're on the oilier side, 
I don't know if this would be the foundation for you because I did set my face with the Huda Beauty powder. I set my face with powder all over and it's like this, so just bear that in mind. But yeah, if you did find this review helpful, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I do have some more reviews coming up, some more baking videos for you guys. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video.